Hi, I'm Cleo Kelly, and I'm also a senior. Hi, I'm Ariel Tustin, and I'm a junior. Hi, I am Tiana Cleary, and I am a freshman, and we are from Lincoln Southwest. That's T. And this is Middle School Sucks. <laughs> Middle School is a war zone. Reporting live from the scene, this is Cleo Kelly. It's madness out here, Tommy. Paper airplanes are flying and rubber bands are being shot uncontrollably. It looks like we've lost connection with Cleo for the moment. This just in, our cameraman has been shot by a flying rubber band. Let's go over to Brandon with the weather. What's going on out An there? An interrupting weather update. It's partly cloudy, the sun is shining. Oh no, the bell just rang. The clouds are rolling in and it's pouring insults with a chance of throwing hands. <laughs> Back to you, Tanya and Ariel. A puberty epidemic has struck these poor soldiers, I mean students. It's quite the crisis as no one knows how to deal with this new and overwhelming sickness. I tell you, Tatiana, I'm so glad that the sickness of puberty only comes around once in a lifetime. It's like your body's going through basic training and you have no idea how to overcome these obstacles. I couldn't have put it any better myself, Ariel. Speaking of which, let's see how Cleo is dealing with all of those obstacles in middle school. I can't say that I'm doing well, Tina. Every room is a new battle, and there's clothes that don't always match, along with voices as high as helium balloons. And finally, the worst one, no one wears deodorant. I feel like I can smell it from here. Oh, wait a sec. I see a cloud coming towards me. What is that? Those clouds are rolling in fast, and they have seemed to come out of nowhere. And those aren't just any clouds. They are made from axe bombs. Run, Cleo! I'm running away as fast as I can, but I'm still choking on the axe bomb. I'll have to give <coughs> another update. <laughs> Unfortunately, we've lost Cleo to the deadliest of all bombs. The A-bomb! Well, seeing as Cleo's out, Again, let's talk about how those drill sergeants are cracking down on dress codes. We have reports rolling in right now. One girl says, I was wearing leggings today and someone made me change into pants. Cargo pants. I have nothing to add to this report because boys don't get dress coded. <laughs> medical attention, but I survived the war zone. We, we all survived. survived.